when they come at you with it, you got to know how to handle it. But then you also have to, from that side, you know, that place, you got to be able to, to see beyond that place with them. Because even though they did that, Jesus still died. Even though he still hollered out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So even though they did that, he still stayed focused on the whole purpose and the plan of what was going on. So God, I love you this morning. So please stay focused on the purpose and the plan of things. And please don't ever take away from a person. I don't care how horrible they've been. Don't take away the good that they did do. If that's your baby daddy, then that's your baby daddy, hon. He might have been hoish, but he gave you a beautiful child or beautiful children. You know, find something. Don't take away all the essence of what happened. You know, good things for that with bad because that's where the spirit of perversion enters in. What y'all got this morning? Any any questions or comments? I I kind of can relate to the message today, and it was just meant for me to hear it because um, I've been demoted. I think about a week or so ago. Um, my supervisor, she's uh, she's younger, and um, the way they talk to you or the way they demand stuff, you know, she just steps in and stuff like that, and I just don't. You know, you're not going to talk to me in kind of way. And if you do, I'm just not going to talk to you back. But anyway, an incident happened where it, it really wasn't an incident. But I have to run not one line. Um, when my line down, I got to run three or four. You know, we we, we, la we la very lacking help. But anyway, it was one particular night. Everything was going wrong. People didn't show up for work. And, you know, I was trying to get supplies and stuff, just ripping and running. And she hollered at me. Um, I was outside getting garbage cans and stuff that we needed for the line to run, and she hollered at me. And I told her, don't holler at me. You know, well, you need to be up here at the scale, and that's, that's, that's going wrong. I said, well, I'm headed that way. Now I can't be in two places at one time. Well, I guess that offended her. She went to the big boss, and shortly thereafter, they had me and HR demoting me, meaning I wasn't performing my job, and, you know, I wasn't doing this right and that right. I go to work. I perform more than my job. Um, you know, I do, I go above and beyond. However, um, I feel like she betrayed me in, in, a, in a certain way, form or fashion, but the big boss made, because I am in the union. Yeah. So I went to the union with the concerns, and they stated that she had no business, they didn't even have no business demoting me because I didn't have a written, a written, they didn't, they never wrote me up. Yeah. I had a couple oral, but no written. Yeah. So, the union took it to the big man. And they don't want to uh, take it. It's written. They don't want to overturn it. And he don't want to get up at a corporate. So he want to talk to me face to face. Monday morning. And let me know. And, you know, for me to let him know what's going on. Um, but the union did uh, assure me that, <coughs> you know, they can't demote my pay. They haven't, put, they, they haven't posted my job. They're going to have to give it back to me. So now I got to go in uh, with a different mind frame and aspect because now I feel like it's a retaliation or intimidation against me. Um, it, 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 it seems like discrimination as well because my supervisor is Puerto Rican. No offense, you know, I love all people, but her best friend is a Puerto Rican as well, and she runs line too. Now, when I say lines, we got four lines. This particular Puerto Rican friend of hers only runs line two. They change no boxes. They change no labels. They do the same product all night. Here I am on lines one, three, and four, which run different products. I'm changing boxes. I'm changing codes. I'm doing a lot. You know, so I feel like I'm being, you know, neglected somewhat for me, fashion because she just stayed there on one line. So I've had a lot of things to say. I just asked that y'all just come in agreement with me when I talk to the boss that I do it professionally. That I don't look at it like, um, uh, you know, like, like I ain't stunned now. I ain't here for her and all this, this kind of stuff. I, I, you know, I, I feel like I am a, a asset to the job and, and I feel like I'm being 
intimidated against because of jealousy or hatred or whatever. And just because I fail in I got a hoodie on my other jacket, but I didn't get my other jacket. I didn't get my other jacket. Yeah. I'm finna, I'm finna let her, like I said, I'm gonna let her take me up here to this urgent clinic, get this shot in my boot. So then I'll be fine. So, I don't Listen to me. We'll be alright. So, but, uh, <clears throat> Did anybody else have anything this morning or any particular prayer request? Don't forget about Victoria and um you know her and her family and all this. Please don't forget about them. Um any other prayer request this morning? Oh Lordy. I just ask that y'all just continue to lift my parents up and me and my family as we transition, you know, the phases of their lives. Sometimes it get difficult and, you know, but, you know, we, we, we 
we know their mindset is becoming like a child sometimes. So just allow me to keep patience and <laughs> just keep on saying yes, Dad, three and four, five times. That's he done told me so repeatedly. So yeah, just keep us lifted. Yeah, I think we all dealing with you know we dealing with that phase. Um, we all we we all dealing with that phase. We got it going with my mama, my aunt Ali, and my aunt Nell. You know, in the family. So, and then I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, as far as my dad, you know, as if I told y'all before, I, I know y'all probably know my dad has a chamber of commerce that you know he's been been um working to to make something in Tampa for I don't know how many years, last ten or fifteen years or so he's been make trying to work to make this chamber something and he got a hold of some people and I, I told him I'm just to show Jesus the Lord. I said, Daddy, I said, is it possible that them people can vote you out? No, they can't vote me out. I got it in the bylaws that I can't be voted out or whatever the case may be. He called me night before last and tell me he said they'll feel they 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 feel they trying to vote me out, out my own chamber. And I told him, I said, I seen it, Daddy. I seen it, <clears throat> which I've seen some other stuff that that they try they they gonna try to you know they want to try to put into action too. So um, so you know we all just got a lot that's going on, and especially when it look like it's you know coming with our parents and stuff. I want to pray for us concerning our parents that we do them right. That's what I want to pray for us, that we handle them right. God, please, you know what I'm saying? Because I know it can be difficult. You know, I'm thinking about even my kid with me being here with my daughter. You know, please, you know what I'm saying? I, oh, please, please. That's what I want to pray, you know, for us, that we handle them right. God, please give us the grace that we need. To be able to handle them right, you know what I'm saying, to do the right thing concerning them, to make the right decisions concerning them. That's my earnest prayer. God, I, I can't say nothing else. Just that's all I know to say for us. Please, 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 because the Bible says that it shall be well, she andalabasete. Ah, that it shall be well with thee. That's my prayer, y'all. I'm serious. That we handle them right. I know everything about them might not be right. And when they're dealing with dementia and stuff, it can be tough. And I, I, I get it. I promise you I get it. But please, my prayer is, is that we handle them for right. God, please help us to handle them right. Can't know about nothing else. Just help us handle them right. Please help us to handle them right. Handle them right in these latter stages of their life. You know, at this place where they are with you, whether you're preparing to take them sooner or later, let us handle them right, God. That's what we ask them for, is for the grace to be able to handle them right. That's where we are. We got to handle them right. So, wow. So, you know, any other prayer requests, you know, this morning, I'm serious, y'all, that... That heart took that that tugs on my heart right now about that handling right. You know I'm serious. I don't know why that means so much to me, but that means so much to me because I just don't want to pay no penalty for that. I, I I don't want no penalty for that. Ooh Lord, I don't want no penalty for that. You know having to come here, and I I wouldn't have known how to act. You know what I'm saying? Had the door not been open to me here. You know I wouldn't have known how to act, how I would have felt, what they would have did to me for, you know what I'm saying, when it, when it was like, okay, I'm fixing to make it, I'm going to have, you know, have surgery, and after I have surgery, I want to go up to Breach House and stay for, for a little bit, you know what I'm saying, and then let's think about if, if the door hadn't been open for me to come here, now the enemy attempted to try some stuff, don't get me wrong now, don't get me wrong, the enemy attempted to try some stuff, but he's going to do that. So I'm a living example for y'all. But I just, you know, I just think about the fact, how would that have been? How would I have felt, you know what I'm saying, to to desire to be to in a place and then the door not be open uh, for me to to go that, oh, no, good Lord, have mercy. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. So 
Let's please, let's do them right. Let's, 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 let's be in agreement.